here at the friendly confines, Wrigley Field. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the mound in this one, Justin Steele. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Randy or Rosarena swings through that one to lead off the inning. Next pitch is outside. That one ripped, and a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right Batting there. Second. That's a good the sound Joker. coming off the bat, man. Wonder. And as he connected out front, oh, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Wander Franco. And that's in there for strike one. A Rosarena gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Up the middle, dive, and he's got it. There's one on the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Well, that ball off the bat, ticketed for the outfield and a base hit for the hitter, but just taken away by the diving stop. Nice job. Lau at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Next one misses. Now one and two. One and two now. That one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. That well, was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. And a foul ball left side. That one is lifted in the air. Suzuki makes his way towards it, grabs it on the run. And that'll do it. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Bottom of the first. And getting the call for this one, Ryan Yarborough. Well, last time out, he was only able to complete four innings, but really battled. Didn't have his best stuff. I look for him to be better in this one. Nick Madrigal takes a ball here as he stands in now. The lefty, the 1-0. And a good eye there. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The pitch. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Okay, down towards the bottom of the lineup, hitting eighth here, Nico Horner. And Moog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot.
Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls and a strike. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Wilson Contreras blasts one out. Home run number five on the season. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. Ziggy, that's a special one. His 100th career home run. Man, 100 career homers. Pretty impressive. So one out, nobody on. And here's the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. The first baseman. Frank. On the ground to the left. Throw over to Choi. That's out number two. That is The right fielder. Number 27. Two outs, base is empty. Suzuki now at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The next offering misses. Ball one. And a count one and two. pitch and there's a foul ball here comes a pitch good eye right there this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad he just battles up there he doesn't take a pitch off at all makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there you can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away Lifted in the air, right center field. Margot going back on this one. And that ends the inning. Cubs draw first blood on this solo homer. It's now 1-0. Back here at the friendly confines. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Rays, G-Man Choi. First offering, and it just misses. Swing and a miss, and the count one and one. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits, and a swing and a miss, and one away. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. Go. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. That's a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. In the air right side. Suzuki settles under this one. Two away down. Two the outs, base is empty. Yandy Diaz Yandy's. next to hit for the Rays. First pitch, just misses. Next offering in the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next one misses, and now three and one. And here it comes. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Two Not outs, in. runner at first. The right Manuel Margot right. up to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. In the air, right field. 
Suzuki makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Tampa, and it remains 1-0. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's Jan Gomes. Leading off for the Cubs. The catcher, Yarbrough, back to work. Go! And first offering is fouled off. Jan Gomes waits. And now it's even up. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. One, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. Clint Frazier, that the next good. cup to hit. The one for field. four with a double in the ball Clint. game last night. Frazier. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ryan Thompson please. takes over on the now mound. He's into the, the game with the bases empty. Number 81, Ryan Thompson. And the 1 0. And a foul ball. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Comebacker to the mound. Loud collects. Whips it to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting seven. The third baseman. Jonathan. Jonathan VR up to him. Right side. Hard hit. Boots it. But they get the out at first. And that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's Kiermaier now. Yeah, the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Frazier makes the play. And there's one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay. Randy or Rosarena. Randy. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. On a line, base hit. Around first, heading for two. Around second now, going for three. In there safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now batting Wander Franco. In the first pitch misses for ball one. Next one is off the play. 2 and 0. Oh. 2 0. Oh. That one is upstairs. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2 0 oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be. And we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. That drops in, plays it on a hop. In comes the runner from third. It's 1 1. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Nice line drive to the whole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Lau looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Franco at first, one gone. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now it's Austin Meadows. 
the designated hitter. And that's in there for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. That misses the zone. One and one. And it's fouled away. If I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner for the Cubs. The shortstop, Nico Horner. Thompson back to work. And there's the strike. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball one. Here's a 1-2. And a ball evens the count. They say you win. Save! Batting gun. The center fielder. Rafael. And next for the Cubs, Rafael Ortega. First offering misses the mark. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Jeffrey Springs, the left-hander, up and throwing. The 1-0. And there's the ball. Thompson checks on first. Horner back in on a dive. Right-handed reliever. There's the strike. Let him go. And the right-hander deals. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, there's one. Over to first, he's safe. The batter, number one, second baseman, Nick. And up next for Chicago, Nick Madrigal. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swings through that one, 0-1. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Thompson over to first, and he just got his hand in there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Run around the goal. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Runner goes again. And that one gets past the catcher. No throw, he's in there safely. One and two here. It's softly on the ground, the third, and he grabs it, foul.
Runner on the move again. Bounced out to short. They get one. Throw home, not in time to run scores. It's 2-1. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Two outs. And it's quickly nothing and two on the designated hitter. They tried to get him to chase on so a slider down and away. And a ball and two strikes. Oh, this is deep to left center. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game. It's 3-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Now that the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. Righty to the plate. This one smoked out to left. A Rosarena makes the catch, and that'll do it. On to inning number four. It's the Cubs three, the Rays one. Out of the fourth, now up for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi. Leading off to the Rays. Going one. Well, the after putting up a base nice base inning on offense, man. got some runs across, cool. this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a foul ball, he stays alive. At the belt and fires. Oh, and one and two. And now the lefty. Ball two. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a base hit. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Pretty much a model swing on that one. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Into the bleachers and gone. His first homer of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 3 3. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Yandy Diaz now. Fouled off. He was late. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Rolled over to third. Fires over to Schwindel, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home run. Margot stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Next offering misses, 
And a count, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Still only one out here in the inning. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, there's two away. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Tampa Bay, the center fielder. Kevin In there for Kiermaier. strike one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Schwindel takes it to the bag. That's the third out. The Rays with a two-run homer. We're tied now with three apiece. Well, they turn to the lefty in this spot, now, Jeffrey Springs. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking Springs. about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And it's into the bleachers, out of here. He circles the bases, his ninth homer of the year. It's 4-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now, now he's got to find Catcher. a way to reset. Yeah. Here's Jan Gomes. Go. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right now there. Back. Just a Let's very nice it. approach and swing Wait. right there to use the big part Wait, of the girl. field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And here is Clint Frazier. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. On the ground, a short could be two. Oh, the throw is wild. Well, every double play the turn starts with getting one, and even though these guys Jonathan. work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. Now, here is Jonathan VR. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The 0-2. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. No pattern. Here's Nico Horner. Good shot. Nico. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. The pitch. And it is two and one. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. Ooh. Three one is on the way. In the air to left center, a Rosarina. Long run into the gap. He's in to score in the sack fly, and they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And now the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. He's 0 for 1. And it goes just foul. One out. Runners at first and second.
the pitch. Going to count one and two. In the dirt, blocked. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the, the Cubs leadoff man, Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. We played four. It's the Cubs five and the Rays three. Here at Wrigley Field, ready now for the fifth inning. And now Randy Arozarena. Corner over to first. One away here in the fifth. Now see back. what a throw Wonder. we got to take another Wonder. look at it but this time with the numbers from Statcast. yeah boo that's about as good as it gets in the major leagues man you'll see the hardest throwing infielders reach 90 plus so he's in the mix with the best infield arms in the game that was a rocket of a throw right there went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle now nice back. job of driving the that pitch the baseman. other way on a Brand line in. you know hitters wow. they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly here comes the manager out of the cubs dugout and he will make a move to the pen Justin Steele won't go any further. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. New pitcher now, Daniel Norris. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 49, Daniel Norris. At the plate, Brandon Lau. First offering, misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. Nice. So now one and two. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for the night. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because we will get The kick in the pit, runner goals. That's in for a strike. He is safe! guy's seen two change-ups in a row. He'll be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Got it. And that is that. The Rays strand just the one. They're still down. 5-3. On the mound now, Peter Fairbanks. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Bottom of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Wilson Contreras. Wilson. Pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Schwindel lets that one go for a strike. Third trip to the plate for him here. Now the 0-1. All one there. Squirts away a little bit. Yeah. 
And a 2-1 on the way. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier turns and moving to his left. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Now back. And stepping in is the speedy Suzuki. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Here's the 0 one. That's in there, and it's 0 and 2. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Now batting, catcher. And now the catcher Yon. comes up to him. Jan Gomes. Go. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Contreras off of first with two away. And it's one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Now that no left field. Everything was on time Play. and fluid in that swing. Play Got a sure. pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. First and second, two down. And now it's going to be Clint Frazier. Late swing, fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Two on, two outs. Tap to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're through five. It's the Cubs five and the Rays three. Welcome back. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Leading off for Tampa Bay. In the left the center for a base hit. G-Man First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be now aggressive. Back. I'll tell you, and it's Francisco. such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. That's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Now batting, right fielder. Manuel. Two on, one out. Here's Manuel Marco. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Your New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, David Robertson. And he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. David Robertson. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And the next pitch is way outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and it's three and two. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. 
at that yeah. time. A little late. Yeah, man. Here's Kiermaier now. And that's in there for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Righty delivers. And takes low for ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The one two. Right through there. Yes. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, this guy competes hard. You see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Whistler. He last pitched two days ago. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. VR at the plate now as he chases after that one. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. And ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. And the drop third strike leads to the first out. Here's Nico no Horner. Shortstop. Nico Horner. Look out! And it hit him. Well, one positive if you're out there on the mound, it's knowing that you can now still get out of this Center inning field. with one pitch. Well, Can't let that mistake snowball here. Get that ground ball, get out of the inning with a double play. And look out! That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Here's Nick Madrigal. Wow. Number one, second baseman, Nick. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Little dribbler up along third. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, just a classic case of finding a hole with that one. He didn't have to hit it real hard in that direction. Just a little roller to the pull side, definitely out in front of the pitch away, but it wasn't one the defense could make a play on. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate, and the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Fought off foul. And he'll one. And fouled off. Ortega on third. Magical. At first, one gone. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. So up now for Chicago, now Frank that, Schwindel for the fourth time tonight. Schwindel. Pitch gets away. And that cost him a run as he scores easily. Out to center, Kiermaier has a beat on it. Brings it in for the third out. 
Seventh inning coming up. It's the Cubs seven. And the back here at the ballpark. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Cody Hoy trying to protect this lead. Your attention, please. Pitch. Now and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind or run. Frazier ranges to his right, squeezes it, and there's one down. Just pull off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Franco watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. In there, that's a double. Now that stepping in for the Rays, Brandon Lau. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that back. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now it's Austin Meadows. Now that designated hitter. Austin. In there for strike one. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. One left for Tampa. They're down four. It's seven to three. Brooks Raley taking over on the mound. He's been now, so good against lefties. Well, I think that what Number makes 30. him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. And the pitch. Suzuki stands in now, looks at that one inside. The lefty, the 1-0. -oh. That one finds the zone, and a count one and one. Ray Lee, he's one of those guys who uses the cut fastball as his primary offering, and when it's on, it can induce a lot of weak contact. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Ground ball up the middle. Lau sends it to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in New York to make the call. Here's one more look, Ziggy. You think they're going to overturn it? I kind of do. Yeah, I think there's a good chance as well. I mean, the more I look at these different angles, the more I'm becoming convinced that he actually beat the throw. So it's turned out to be a pretty good challenge. The decision's been made, and he's safe. So they overturn the call, and they get it right by taking a chance with a challenge. Now it's Jan Gomes. First pitch, just misses. And the late movement on the cutter is really what makes it so effective because as a hitter, you make a decision whether you're going to swing or take a pitch before it actually gets into the zone. So that late movement causes it to miss the barrel of the bat, sometimes miss the bat entirely. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one down. Tell fans a little bit about the difference between a cutter and a slider. Well, a cutter looks more like a fastball, but it has that late movement like a slider that's hard to pick up. Now, with the slider, it's a little slower, the spin is different, and sometimes you can recognize that, and it tends to break a lot more horizontally and vertically than the cutter. Frazier comes up empty with a swing there, batting here with one away.
Braley checks the runner. Suzuki back in on a dive. The one two. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle end. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Suzuki off of first with two away. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Diaz makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for the Cubs, but they lead it by four. We go to the eighth, and here's the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Leading off with the Rays. They hand the ball the over baseman. to a new arm, Adbert Alzala. This is his third time out this year. Now, number seven. The wind of the pitch. Adbert. Now one miss. And now it's even up. The wind of the pitch. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now that Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. The wind to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Now one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now to field a third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Kelly. Now that the third baseman. Diaz oh. looks at one outside there. Next offering is fouled back. One two. He swings and fouls one off. The wind and the pitch, and another ball. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Rays held in check here. Deficit remains at four. It's seven three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Kittredge. Number thirty-six. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And a pitch. Tapped up the first base side. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batter. Rafael Ortega no stands in. Rafael. Ortega. That one down the line, and that's just foul. The next pitch misses. A ball, one strike. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. JT Shagwar getting loose out there. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. That smash towards center. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's the second baseman, Nick Matrigal. First pitch, not close. Ground ball could be two. Choi over to second, back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. Through eight full, it's the Cubs seven and the Rays three. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Marco. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. You know, the best way to forget about the pain is inflicting some pain and working your way around the bases and touching home plate is a way to stick it to that other team. Kiermaier stands in here, leaves that one down. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. Looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. A Rosarena takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, number five. Football. Here's Wander Franco. Wander Franco. That's the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 7-3 is how this one ends. So the Cubs celebrate at the plate for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs on nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Rays, three runs on nine hits, one error. They left eight runners on base.